Hello and welcome back artists and designers. In this video, we are going to get our final scratch board ready to go. I just want to show you a couple quick things you can do to edit your photo. So I have my document set up here. This is a, I decided to go with a eight by 10 inch document. So a little bit larger than our practice. Uh, so I got it all set up here, the background, the color fill and our mask. So I went over to, uh, whoops, it's not working. Hold on. There we go. So I went over to Unsplash and found this photo of a parrot that I thought would be pretty cool for the assignment. It's got some good contrast and texture. Uh, I'm going to make everything pretty easy. So I got that downloaded and I'm going to head on back over here to Photoshop and I'm going to go ahead and file and place that in or in this case I can just drag it and drop it in here and I'm going to go ahead and scale this up. So I'm going to try and get this in here approximately the size I want. And let's do something. I'm going to focus on this head a little bit more. Holy cow, I've got to zoom out here for a second. Let's get this lined up. So that looks like a pretty decent composition for me. I think I'm going to work with that. So obviously this is going to be a lot easier if I do this with black and white. I could just drop the opacity right now on this and go to my scratch board layer and start working on it. But it will be helpful if I could adjust this to black and white and see a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that with an adjustment layer. So I'm going to do first off, I'm going to do black and white. So this is a color image. I'm going to go ahead and hit the black and white adjustment. And what's nice about this is it gives you uh, sliders that allow you to control each color in the photo. So all the reds, I can kind of brighten those reds up. Yellows, I can brighten or darken. Uh, so you can kind of customize based on the photo where you need to push or pull those, those values. So maybe brighten this up a little bit. Bring maybe that down a little, get a bit more contrast. Take this red, that was a little bright. I'm gonna bring that back down and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna leave that right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more uh, adjustment layer and this is gonna be the levels. Yes, you can do brightness and contrast, but I do think you get a bit more control with levels. So I'm gonna open this up and you get this slider right here. And this is one, again, this is gonna be adjustable. So if I wanna really see where the brightest things are and the darkest things are. This is cool because you can control this over the course of referencing this photo. I could start maybe here where I go, okay, where are the brightest tones in this? And then I could start to, you know, adjust as I go. That's again, an adjustment layer. So it's not permanently making any changes. So I might leave it something kind of like this to get me going and then adjust accordingly. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put all of these in a folder and um, that way I can kind of adjust everything together. So I'm going to uh, select all of these layers. I'm going to add my folder icon and we'll just call this reference. So there we go. Um, add that as my reference layer, even though I spelled that wrong and then I can show and hide that and I can go ahead and drop the opacity on everything there so that I can use that as my reference layer. So with that, I should pretty much be ready to go and start working on my scratch board. Now, if you wanna level up and you don't wanna feel like you're tracing the entire time, I have one more suggestion for you. Uh, you can make a new layer. You could grab a scratch board brush and we could actually scratch this out, maybe do it with like a slightly different color and basically just trace the outline. So if I pick a, a color here that I'm gonna be able to see and I just kind of go back in here, oops, and I just do a very kind of quick tracing of my subject. I could kind of put some of the basic highlights and get the shapes on here that I want. Um, just to give me some guidelines and my smoothing is set way too high. So this is making it a little bit difficult, uh, but basically trace this out. That way you can hide the original image. You can go in here and you could print out the image and try to use the actual printed copy and scratch a little bit more by hand so that you don't feel like you're tracing the whole time. That would be if you want to level up. Um, but I'm going to ultimately leave that up to you to decide whether you want to use the reference as a straight up tracing or whether you want to print it out and use your quick sketch as your starting point and just visually reference the image. So there you go. Uh, add in your adjustment layers, drop your image in here, add that black and white adjustment, the levels adjustment, and then, you know, 
drop the opacity overall when it's in a folder and you should have some pretty good options to be able to go and start your actual final scratchboard. Good luck. Can't wait to see what you make.